Hi everyone. I want to talk about a dietary plan for health and longevity, a 24 hour diet plan. I will review with you three examples of breakfast, three examples of lunch, three examples of dinner. We'll talk even about desserts. Obviously there are more examples, but common threads that you will see are colors. Nine servings of five colors each and every day. This plan is all about eating and using food as medicine. So many other dietary plans are about restrictions. They're about what not to eat. They're about feeling hungry and fighting cravings and counting down the minutes until the next meal. This is about color, antioxidants, healthy proteins, essential fatty acids, and it's certainly a plan that is high in fiber. It's avoiding sugars, trans fats, saturated fats, processed foods, and certainly avoiding any food sensitivities that you may have. I'll give three examples of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Certainly if you can afford organic, buy organic. Not only is it higher in micronutrients, but obviously it's significantly less in environmental toxins, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and so on. Now I won't specifically touch on snacks, but my favorite snacks are nuts and seeds, bean and legume salads, cottage cheese. Those are all fantastic snacks. I encourage you to eat breakfast like a king, eat lunch like a prince, and dinner like a pauper. Study shows that if, if you consume the most calories early and then decrease throughout the day, it may be protective against prediabetes and developing blood sugar di dysregulation and diabetes. So for breakfast, I like to include a smoothie and something that's high in protein. A smoothie because you can pack it full of antioxidants and a protein to help with sugar cravings, to help with blood sugar regulation throughout the rest of the day. So the first smoothie I'll talk about is made from one head of kale. And I like to derib the kale just by holding it by the stock and running my fingers down the leaves. Uh, about, about a cup of Swiss chard. I use rainbow chard. Again, you want to derib this down and then chop it up before you put it in the blender. One banana, one apple, one pear, a juice of one lime, two tablespoons of hemp seed oil, or I'm sorry, hemp seeds, uh, half an avocado, obviously pitted, place it in the blender, two cups of water, blend it up, pour it in a cup, delicious smoothie. The next one I wanna talk about is uh, one banana, one cup of spinach, two tablespoons of hemp seeds, uh, let's see, one tablespoon of flax seeds, one tablespoon of cacao powder, one tablespoon of coconut flakes, and one cup of mixed berries. Now I like to use frozen berries. Actually, if you freeze berries, you break those cellular walls down and actually make the antioxidants, the proanthocyanidins, more bioavailability or more bioavailable. And then two cups of water, blend it, pour it, delicious smoothie. The third smoothie I wanna talk about is four cups of kale lightly steamed first and then drained. One cup of raw almonds. Please don't use roasted because you can destroy some of the beneficial properties of nuts and seeds, including the essential fatty acids and other micronutrients if you use roasted. So one cup of raw almonds, three to four raw basil nuts. Where are you basil nuts? Basil nuts are actually a uh, seed, but they call them basil nuts. So three to four raw basil nuts, one cup of cinnamon, or I'm sorry, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one half avocado, obviously pitted, one to two tablespoons of cacao powder, one to two heaping scoops of grass-fed whey. I actually prefer to use a, a pea protein and instead of whey. I have a little bit of dairy sensitivity, so uh, a, a raw meal made from pea protein. 
is what I choose to do. Just a pinch of salt, uh, about a cup of coconut flakes, once again, and one to two tablespoons of cacao sweet nibs. All that in the blender, about a cup of water, blend that up, drink it down, fantastic. Now let's talk about breakfast. So my first breakfast is in an avocado. It's an avocado boat made with eggs. So half an avocado pitted, a juice of one lime, about a quarter teaspoon of fajita spice rub, including salt, black peppers, uh, paprika, chili powder, cayenne, garlic powder, ground cumin, dried oregano, dried thyme. So about a quarter teaspoon of fajita spice rub, two hard boiled eggs. I like to use free range eggs as often as I can. And one to two tablespoons of quality salsa. So squeeze lime juice over the half avocado. This will help prevent browning. Peel and chop the hard boiled eggs and toss in a small bowl with fajita spice rub. Transfer into the avocado half and pile on top and around top with salsa and enjoy. If you're packing for work or school, pack each component separately and assemble when you're ready to eat. Next breakfast, pumpkin pudding. So about a cup of unsweetened almond milk, one third cup of preferably organic pumpkin puree, about two teaspoons of pumpkin spice, two and a half tablespoons of chia seed. I like to use the black chia seed. It has more antioxidants. About two tablespoons of pure maple syrup and one cup of mixed berries. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so in a large bowl, whisk together the almond milk, pumpkin puree, pumpkin spice mix, and chia seeds. Set aside, allow to thicken for a bit. Serve topped with maple syrup and those berries. Fantastic. High in protein, helpful to keep blood sugar controlled throughout the day. Lastly, for breakfast, let's talk about a frittata recipe. So one tablespoon coconut milk, one tablespoon coconut milk, uh, about five eggs, one cup of broccoli florets, chopped, about one cup of chopped baby spinach, and half of a red bell pepper diced. And five strips of, I like to use, turkey bacon, chopped. So preheat oven to 350 degrees, grease a muffin pan as well. Place coconut milk, broccoli, bacon, and red pepper into a skillet over medium heat and cook until broccoli florets are light green and bacon is cooked. Cool for about 10 minutes. In a separate bowl, whisk the eggs in coconut cream, it will be chunky, and empty the broccoli mixture into the egg mixture and stir immediately. Drop about a quarter cup of egg batter into each prepared muffin cup. Bake for 20 minutes, cool for 10 minutes, run a knife along the edge and remove carefully and enjoy. So that's breakfast. Next, I wanna talk about lunch. All right, on to lunch. First, let's talk about nori wraps. So we take four sheets of nori seaweed, four sheets, one avocado, thinly sliced, one mango. I used to live in Hawaii. We had amazing mangoes. I usually use frozen now just because I know it's always gonna be consistently good. So frozen mango, uh, allow it to thaw to room temperature, thinly sliced. About uh, one handful of sprouts, a quarter cucumber, thinly sliced. Lay out all on a sheet of nori, mo moisten with a sprinkle of water, and place, it, place in the desired amount of each ingredient. Roll up the nori into a wrap and enjoy. Next, let's talk about a fantastic salad for lunch. So it starts always in my family with mixed greens. We do one finely chopped tomato for all of its antioxidants, including lycopene. One avocado cubed. One orange or yellow pepper, 
uh, chopped one quarter cucumber here, about a quarter cup of olives, which are here, about a quarter sweet onion chopped, a handful of sprouts, two tablespoons of olive oil, juice from either a half lemon or a half lime and a pinch of sea salt. I like to add fresh herbs like thyme and basil and rosemary, just not only to give it extra flavor, but to add antioxidants as well. Next, let's talk about lunch tuna boats. So about a third cup of line or troll cot light, not white, tuna. And the difference being that light or white tuna has about a half as much mercury as white tuna or albacore tuna. So light, not white. And about a half cup of cooked, where are you? Ah. About a half cup of cooked quinoa, it only takes about 20 minutes or so. A tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of chopped, diced red or purple onion, about a half cup of plain coconut milk or almond milk, one teaspoon of fresh dill, chopped, salt and pepper to taste, half a cucumber sliced lengthwise and seeded. So in a small bowl, mix together tuna and quinoa, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, the onion, uh, and plain yogurt, which is way over there. I'm not gonna get the plain yogurt. And plain yogurt. And so in a small bowl, mix that all together with the dill. Mix until well combined, salt and pepper to taste, spoon mixture into the sliced and seeded cucumber, and enjoy. So that is lunch. Next, let's hop into dinner. All right, so three examples of a healthy dinner that will help with your longevity. Let's talk about a dinner salmon salad. So the salad ingredients, two teaspoons of fresh lime juice, one tablespoon of finely chopped shallots or, or green onions, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, uh, yeah, here we go. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, about a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, four teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil, uh, one half radish, finely chopped, one Belgium endive, thinly sliced, about a cup, three cups baby arugula, Where's my arugula? Here's my arugula. So three cups of baby arugula. Now for the salmon ingredients, one teaspoon olive oil, about two wild salmon fillets. Where's my happy salmon? So one, two, three, two salmon fillets. I like to use uh, salmon from the Northwest, wild caught, such as king or sockeye. About a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, one quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Combine the lemon juice, shallots, mustard, salt, and pepper in a small bowl. Slowly whisk in the olive oil until it's well combined, set aside in a separate bowl. Combine the radish, the endive, the arugula, set aside. Heat the oil in a small non-stick skillet. Over medium heat, sprinkle salmon with salt and pepper and place in the skillet, flesh side down, cook, turning once, a total of eight to 10 minutes until the fish flakes easily with a fork. Remove from the skillet, toss the dressing with the lettuces and place on the two plates. Top each with salmon filet and serve immediately. Delicious. Next, barbecue chicken salad. So two free range chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, one lime juiced, half cup flesh, uh, I'm sorry, half cup fresh orange juice, three cloves of garlic, one half teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of dried sage, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, 
one red bell pepper, chopped, diced, one half cup celery, chopped, diced, a half cup of organic black beans, uh, one avocado cut into chunks or cubes, three green onions, chopped, four cups of mixed greens, one tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of fresh lime juice, one tablespoon of cilantro, chopped, salt and pepper to taste, and your most delicious organic barbecue sauce. So the instructions in a small bowl, combine the lime juice, orange juice, garlic, onion powder, sage, thyme, salt, and pepper, transfer to a separate plastic bag, add the chicken, turn around and kind of massage it a bit to coat and refrigerate anywhere from two to 24 hours. Let that marinate. When ready to cook, preheat grill to medium high heat. Grilled chicken for about five to seven minutes on each side or until the chicken is no longer pink in the center. Allow it to cool slightly before slicing or chopping. In a large bowl, mix the olive oil, the two tablespoons of lime juice and cilantro. Add the red bell pepper, celery, black beans, avocado, green onions. Season with salt and pepper. Gently toss, being careful not to mash the avocado. To serve, place greens on the platter. Spread the chopped veggies and bean mixture over the greens and slices of grilled chicken across the top. Drizzle with your favorite organic barbecue sauce. Next, let's talk about a Mediterranean butternut squash. So one butternut squash, a half cup of Kalamata olives, sliced, about a half cup of cherry tomatoes, sliced in half, five fresh basil leaves, one clove of minced garlic, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, freshly ground black pepper, and I encourage you to add grilled salmon, organic chicken, or grass-fed steak as well. Preheat oven to 350 degrees, slice the squash in half lengthwise, remove the seeds, place sides down on a banking sheet with just a little bit of water. Bake the squash on 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Allow the squash to cool for five or 10 minutes. Then remove with a fork some strands or flesh of the butternut squash. Toss the squash in a large bowl with the olives, tomatoes, basil, garlic, olive oil. Sprinkle with salt and pepper and enjoy. And again, serve with grilled salmon, organic chicken, or grass-fed beef. As a side to this, I like to have sweet potatoes. So four sweet potatoes, one cup of raw cashews, one half cup coconut milk, two cloves garlic, finely chopped, a pinch of salt, a pinch of black pepper, one tablespoon of coconut or olive oil, I prefer coconut, 16 cups of spinach, and a quarter cup of chopped walnuts. Cook the sweet potatoes in an oven preheated to 350 degrees for about an hour or until tender. In a high speed blender, blend the cashews, coconut milk, and half of the chopped garlic together until thick and creamy. Season with salt and pepper, set aside. In a large skillet over medium heat, melt the coconut oil and add the remaining garlic. Cook until the garlic is aromatic, about 60 seconds. Then add spinach, and about a quarter cup of water. Cover and cook until the spinach is just wilted. Cooked, serve cooked with the sweet potatoes topped with the spinach. Drizzle on the cashew cream. It's amazing. Let's talk about desserts. No one can live life without desserts. Chia flax pudding. One cup coconut milk, one teaspoon raw cacao powder, which I've shown you, a quarter teaspoon cinnamon, five to 10 drops of stevia, two tablespoons of chia seed, two tablespoons of flax seed, two tablespoons, finely chopped, of very dark chocolate cacao, percentage between 70 and 85%. Two tablespoons of dried goji berries. I love goji berries. Some of the highest antioxidants on the planet. About two tablespoons. In a large bowl, whisk together the coconut milk, cacao powder, cinnamon, stevia, and chia seeds and flax seeds. Allow the chia and flax to set up and thicken to form the pudding. It takes about 20 minutes. 
top with the chopped chocolate and the goji berries, fantastic and super healthy. Next, a berry cobbler with blueberry and chocolate topping. Six cups of mixed berries, either frozen or fresh. If you use frozen, allow them to warm up to room temperature. About a tablespoon of pure maple syrup, three tablespoons of coconut milk, one cup raw pecans, one half cup raw walnuts, one half cup pitted dates. I prefer to use uh, medjool dates. They're actually higher in antioxidant content. So about a half cup of pitted dates, chopped, and they're more juicy. Uh, a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. In a food processor, blend the pecans, the walnuts, the dates, and cinnamon until coarsely ground. Separately, blend the berries with maple syrup and coconut milk, and then combine and enjoy. Next, dessert, half cup of cacao nibs, which is different than cacao powder. I had that uh, a moment ago, oh, here we go. About a half cup of cacao nibs, a half a cup of cacao powder, three quarters cup of raw cashews, one tablespoon of coconut butter or coconut oil, a quarter cup of agave nectar or honey, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Put everything into a food processor and blend until thick. Remove from the blender or the food processor and shape into squares. Store the chocolate squares in the freezer, allow them to freeze before serving. Put that on your berry cobbler and it's out of this world. So this has been 24 hours of eating for health and longevity. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and snacks. Again, this plan is not about restriction. This plan, I wish you could see this kitchen counter. This, this plan is about eating. It's about using food and colors and proteins and healthy fats and antioxidants as your medicine. Obviously, just three examples for breakfast, lunch, and dinner of each is not enough because you need to perpetuate the process. I'm thrilled and honored that you're watching from all over the world. Let me know what your healthy breakfast, your healthy lunch, your healthy dinner is because I want to encourage more people to use food as medicine. Thanks so much for your time and attention. My name is Dr. Ryan Shelton.